Cutie Dolls, so I just finished editing this video and realized there was no intro. So here I am recording the intro. Um, I slayed this hair probably about six hours ago. I took a nap, I've eaten, I ran errands, and I'm still fully in love with it. Um, this hair was under $35. I received it in less than 24 hours online. It's very long, it's very voluminous. I don't know how long it is exactly, but I want to guess it's between 22 and 24 inches. It's full of layers and just so much body. I combed it like a million times and it's not losing any of its curl or any of its body. It can be heated up or flat ironed, I should say. So if you're interested in seeing how I got this look for under $35, stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, so this is the hair right here. Hopefully you guys can see it. Okay, but um, the brand is Equal. It's a lace front, Brazilian natural. Um, it says lace deep invisible L part. So I'm gonna take it out of the packaging and we're gonna see what we have going on here. So first of all, it comes in like a clear package like this. Um, and it falls out, so I don't know how it's supposed to be. But this is the packaging under that. Oh, it's attached. So you have to rip it off and then this part comes off. Now it looks like, uh oh, it's in a net. And then here is the unit. There's a little piece of netting. And then some styrofoam. Okay, so this is the hair straight out of the box. First thing I noticed is because this is my first time purchasing a affordable lace front wig, the lace is completely, completely different than anything I have ever experienced before. It's more like plastic is what it feels like, but it comes with a tag on it and the name of the hair, the style name is Danity. So basically the brand is Equal Lace Front, her name is Danity, and it's a color one. So let's try her on and see what we think. So I've got some scissors. Snip. Okay, so looking at the construction of the cap, it does come with a comb in the back. Also a tag that says shake and go. And then, so basically two combs in the front and one comb in the back. It also comes with the um, adjustable straps okay so they have two straps in the back what i did was i took them off the longest or the furthest um attachments and i made it even tighter by making these basically attached at the shortest or closest so hopefully this will make the unit small enough for my head because my head is pretty small when it comes to the circumference of my hair So this is what the wig looks like on when you just put it on. It definitely looks like you're wearing your mama's wig. So, so I'm definitely about to try and work some magic and slay this hair for the gods. Let's see if I can do it. I'm gonna take some concealer. On this part, I'm definitely going to try and pluck out some of the hair so that the parting looks a little bit more natural. Now, I think my biggest problem right now is I love the hair now much more, but it still feels a little bit bulky right here, so I need to make this flat. And as you can see, that definitely made a huge difference. I'm here just trying to get that part 
as even and in the center as you want. I'm gonna go ahead and add more elastic to this hair and maybe pluck the closure just a little bit, not a lot, because I don't want it to look like there's a highway going down my head, but I'm feeling it. Okay, so I am going to try and lay it down with a head scarf just because I am a little bit self-conscious about it not being perfectly flat. Because I know it's a wig and because I know it's not a wig that I made, it does feel a little bit looser. It also is very long. If I had to guess, I'd say it's probably about 22 inches long. Luckily, I went ahead and turned the, ha the hair sideways. Which I think I kind of like better. The only issue with turning it sideways is the length of the hair is in the back. So I will have to cut it even if I choose to keep it like this so that it does not look uneven, just so you'll know. But I definitely do like it better to the side. So all I'm gonna do is cut it even. I'm definitely not a professional at this, so. way too long you see so basically I'm gonna have to end up putting it on my mannequin head and letting it um, sit there while I cut it and take my time but for the sake of this video this is the hair I actually like it much better to the side I feel like it's more my personality in the middle was really nice but um, because I have this large forehead popping I just feel like I always look better with my hair to the side um, if you watch my vlog, something you see me do often is I'll just go ahead and pin it behind my ears because I hate hair in my face just regular during the day. So usually during the day, this is how I would style my hair. I'm not sure if I'm feeling it. If I am going to keep up with this hair, I'm definitely going to have to um, add some more combs. So one thing I can say is I wish that when it comes to Equal, Free Trust, any brand that sells um, already made wigs, I wish that they would make the wigs in different sizes. Because even though for around the perimeter of my head it does fit because I adjusted it to the smallest, like I would like to take this amount of the cap off so that I don't get that little bulk right there. Because my hair is flat, it's not my hair, it's actually the wig. But yeah, I'm loving it. It's very flowy. I haven't had to put any curls in it. This is the natural curl pattern, so I'll see how long this lasts. Now I'm gonna get my lip gloss popping. Okay, so I am getting a ton of flyaways, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to use some conditioner to help tame that. Normally, I would use a serum, but because this is already synthetic hair and I'm not sure how it's going to handle the oil, because I don't want it to be shiny, so I'm going to just use conditioner and you see how that helps to lay it down flat. It might weigh down your hair, it might take out some of your curls. So definitely use your own judgment, but it did make a, a huge difference with the flyaways and kind of helped it to lay flat. But this is definitely how I probably will be wearing it on a day-to-day -day basis. More than likely you'll see me in vlogs with it pinned up like this because it is pretty long but it's definitely so bouncy. I went with 1B, but you can go, I'm sorry, I went with the color one, which is basically black. If you want something a little bit more natural, I would go for a 1B. Okay, last thing that I want to mention to you guys is this is an L part wig, which basically means that along this line right here and around, is it this way or this way? Around this way, so basically like here 
to here, you're able to actually use your scissors and cut along this line and basically you'll be able to put the combs, attach the combs to your hair and basically leave out, leave out. So that way it looks more natural. Obviously if you leave it, leave it out. I'm not interested in leaving any leave out out. So I'm gonna just keep it as a lace wig hair. When I look at it close, I can tell it's synthetic. I don't know if someone else would be able to tell. Um, if I would have gotten a 1B, it would have looked a little bit more natural than this. But because it's such a dark, blunt black, I can tell it's synthetic. But it still looks pretty good. Like I said, this wig was under $34. I believe it was like $33, $34 to be exact. Um, plus tax, and I got it in a day. This is definitely a go-to good look. I would recommend this if you're going to Vegas or somewhere for the weekend and you don't want to... Um, pay the money to get your hair done you can just order one of these wigs say hi see i just wake up from a nap and i'm being bad but what i was gonna say is um if you are looking for some fun weekend hair i definitely would recommend doing it to you guys um what i would recommend as far as safety for your wig as far as not having your wig snatched off of your head is to braid down your head like you would for a sew-in and then just going in and like lifting up the hair like parting the hair and just doing a few blind stitches especially around the perimeter so that when you're dancing and having fun you don't have to worry about someone snatching your wig off or anything like that because this is not as secure as other wigs unless your head is really really big and it holds it really tight but because it is a little bit loose online I'm definitely gonna have to secure it so and don't forget to also hit the thumbs up so that we know you like these kind of videos say bye bye and say bye bye say bye bye is she mommy and diamond say bye bye say bye 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 Okay, see you guys in the next one. What should I say? What should I say, boo? What should you say? Yeah. Free tacos for everybody! With any of no? <laughs> hey, dolls. So I just really... <laughs> this ain't gonna happen tonight, huh? Don't look like it. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all gonna sit on the couch in two minutes. No. Go go get y'all snack out the kitchen for two minutes. By the time you come back, I'm gonna be done. Hey dolls. <laughs> <coughs> or should I say Jules? I just got my hair done and it came in a Barbie doll box. <laughs> hey Jules, so I just got my hair done and I ordered this from Amazon in a Barbie doll box. Wow, but it's so great, right? I look like Barbie, right? Black Barbie, right? Chocolate Barbie, right? <laughs> we give you exactly one minute. That's all I need.